In this video, we are going to be looking at debugging the error in Data Factory, error found when processing CSV, TSV format text, source rfile.csv with row number two, found more columns than expected, column count, and then there's usually a column count number. Now you may see that error if you're, let's say, reading the direct error message, or you may see it this way, and you'll see uh, operation on target DF step, that data factory step failed, and then you'll see this error code here, delimited text, more columns than defined, and then you'll see this type, and then here's where the error message is right here, and then of course you see the source. So a couple things about reading this really fast is uh, we're looking at this, this rfile.csv is going to be whatever your file is. It could be uh, uh, txt as well. It could be any type of delimited file. It also is going to tell you the row number that's a problem, and then it's going to tell you the column count number um, that's expected. So those are going to be meaningful uh, pieces of information here. Another thing as well, always note this troubleshooting note, that you might be experiencing similar issues for different reasons. Um, so this video only helps you eliminate a possibility if, let's say, when you look at it, it's uh, for a different reason. So keep that in mind, that's true with every error. And so there's impossible to know every possible way that you could potentially get this error. Generally speaking though, it's going to be related to a delimited file. There's going to be a row number that's a problem and it's not hitting the expected column count. However, uh, there could be some scenarios that are outside of uh, that, though I would venture to bet that's probably what's going on here. So. Let's look at this example file here that we have. Uh, this is the header that we have, column one, column two, column three. I have that for simplicity purposes. So we have three columns. That's the expected column count. We see in line one, remember this is really row one because we have this header. So it's treating this header as a header. Uh, that is true that if you set up data factory when it's reading a file where it, there's no header row, it's gonna immediately consider this line one. But if you set it up to read a header, then it's gonna treat this right here as line one, this one, two, three, right? So just keep that in mind. So this would be row one, this is the header row, but if you don't have a header row, then this is row one, and this would be row two, right? So we see column one, column two, column three, that's what it's expecting. When it hits row two, there's actually four columns, because there's three delimiters, and so there's four columns there. That's going to cause an error, because we see again on uh, row three, there's just three columns, and then row four, there's just three columns, and the dot, dot, dot just means there'd be more in the file. So that's where you're going to get this error, and that's how you're going to debug it. So if you have a tool like Notepad++, that's one way you can go in and see uh, which file doesn't align. It could also be the fact that there are, let's say, special characters that are messing up how it's uh, reading the file. It could also be the fact that the you sometimes will have, uh, what is it, delimiters that are uh, between quotes, but let's say they forgot to add another quote. So there's a comma, and there should be a, a beginning and ending quote, but there isn't. And so this can end up leading to, you have like a corrupted file. So there's other solutions for that, but the key is to identify that row, figure out what should be done, and then edit it from there, and then reprocess it. 